WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 3 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, final hour of the trading week. And we got markets near session highs quite a day so far. Dow Jones up 477 points, trading at 26,974. Got the S&Ps positive by 50 points on the dot, trading at 29.88. NASDAQ positive by 156 points. That's approaching a full 2% in the positive for the NASDAQ, trading at 81.06. And how about the Russell? More than 2.5% in the green, up 37 points at 15.23. I got up here to start things off. How about the S&P? Been quite a 48 hours. You back things up to Wednesday after the close. We got an initial spike to negative territory. You have the S&Ps at about 6 to 7 p.m. Wednesday night, trading at 28.81. And just like that, we're more than 100 S&P points above that price level. There's Thursday's trading action higher. And it just continued from the close of Thursday all day today, 29.88, approaching that high of 29.94, made it about 11.30 a.m. this morning. Most of that having to do with renewed optimism of U.S.-China trade talks, deals breaking, excuse me, news breaking that a potential partial trade deal reached this afternoon. We'll see how that plays out, whether it's rhetoric or reality. Nonetheless, jumping over to the indice charts, Dow 30, 26,934. We got a little bit of an intraday spike to a low of 26,749, and the market just shook it off, coming right back up to near those highs we made earlier today. NASDAQ 100, actually above those highs briefly, right now 7904, pretty much right back at that level. S&Ps we looked at already, your high earlier today of about 29.94, currently trading 29.88. There's your crude oil chart, making new highs as we speak, intraday highs that is, climbing almost to $55, we'll call it $54.80. And the gold contract pulling back a bit on renewed market optimism. You have the gold contract trading at 1487.46 and the euro US dollar trading at 110.39. Stay tuned, folks. We got a treat. We got our man Larry Pesavento filling in for Tom live at three o'clock. He'll be coming up right now next. And man, oh man, talk about those markets. We also have the 10 year sitting at a yield of 1.75%. Volatility everywhere, folks. Stay tuned. Larry Pesavento coming up right now.